The equation is pretty simple for the UMass football team. Win and you're in, lose and you're likely out of the playoffs. Only Rhode Island stands in the way of the Minutemen. UMass's regular season finale at Rhode Island. Kevin Morris and the gang getting out to the early edge though. Kyle Havens with all sorts of time finds Dan Sheeran. That makes it 7-3 UMass. Let's fast forward a little bit to the second quarter. About five minutes left and Havens going deep for Anthony Nelson who takes it in for six right here. UMass leading 14-13 at the break. Rhodey opening the second half with a score, but the Havens-Nelson combo definitely working. This brings it down to the two. Havens runs it in after that, and UMass goes up by a point. Then later in the third, it's Jonathan Hernandez, 26 carries, 139 yards on the ground. He scampers for 30 of them right here, and UMass up by eight. Back come the Rams. They cut it to five with a field goal, and then quarterback Steve Probst sneaks it in from four yards out. Rhode Island back up by one point, but UMass drives back down the field, and with three and a half minutes left in the game, Hernandez takes it in for his second score of the game. UMass up by five points. So the question is, can the defense hold off Rhodey? The answer, no. On fourth and goal with a minute 10 left, Probst finds Brandon Johnson Farrell. Rams go up three, so UMass one last chance to come back, but Kyle Havens ends his UMass career with an interception, and that's how the Minutemen season will likely end, a tough three-point loss. We were kind of trying to come back, make something happen with under a minute left, and uh, he made an ill-advised throw. He made a nice interception on it, but defense had their shot on the field at the end, and, and then we let up the score, so the offense had to get back on the field. So whoever's on the field last, we had to, get, we got, had to make a play, and we weren't able to make it. And in case you're wondering, UMass finds out if it's in the NCAA tournament tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. You can watch on ESPNU.